These are my neighbours. Look at everybody. Everybody. Oh, Marion hasn't seen the pup. Oh, my goodness, a new mama. She's got a new baba. Look at me in my old scraps. Actually, I don't even know if you can see me. That's better. I've got my old, this is what I wear around the house. But this is what I'm about to change into. One of the joys of living on Marylebone High Street is when the shops have their sales, I am the first to see it and the first to get easy pickings. And I look at clothes, like art galleries, I go in, I look at the clothes and I always think, gosh, if that's in the sale, I'm gonna get that. Um, depending, I always say I want more than 20% off. So imagine my ecstasy when the dress that I had been looking at all through the winter came on in my size at half price, 50% off. Now, you know I have another Paul Smith dress made of the very similar material. I love dresses, as I've said, I like long dresses because they make me look taller. Um, and this is the same wonderful material. I think it's a silk mix. It's very giving and stretch. Anyway, enough. It's paisley. I love paisley. So let me just show you, and then I will go and put it on for you to have a look. Paisley. And the design is fun. Fantastic. Look at that with the kitten bow. See how long it is. It's this what it's a stretchy material. I love it. It's like the other dress I have. But look at the sleeves, how flattering that is. And the bow can be worn at the front or indeed at the back. 50% off. It can go at the front of the back. I love the paisley and it goes with my Stella McCartney's. Love it. Love it. Pretty and paisley. Gosh, sorry, just woken up. Machine is here. Uh, what day is it? I can't remember what morning it is. Hopefully this time we can fit my new washing machine and I can do my washing. So these are different guys to the first guys. Um, fingers crossed this is gonna happen. Farewell, old machine. Farewell. Served me well. Right, fingers crossed we can actually get this new one plugged in. I say we, I'm doing nothing. So, um, now, apparently, we don't have, now it won't fit in. It will fit in, but the cable's not long enough to plug in. Um, this is just crazy. This is absolutely crazy. The, there isn't enough cord to plug it into the plug. <laughs> so, yet again, we've failed. I'm, I can't even find this funny anymore. I, I just don't know why they make these machines so economically that, it sh how does anyone ever have a new washing machine fitted in one go? This has taken weeks and it's still not done. Um, anyway, it's not these guys' fault. These guys are lovely. They are as embarrassed as I am by this. It's absolutely shocking. It's shocking. Oh God. I had to, I had, I couldn't say anything whilst they were here because they were so nice. They were also really embarrassed. I said to them, does this happen to you? Sorry, this has become a consumer vlog. I'm standing here with no makeup on, ranting. I said to them, does this happen to you? You know, that you fit a washing machine that doesn't have cable long enough to plug in? This is London, we're not living in detached houses. You know, often the plugs are a little distance away from the washing machine. He went, it, ha it happens everywhere we go. And he said, we've reported it. I am intentionally not telling you what company I used. 
and it's not even the company, it's the make, it's an Intersit, I'll tell you that, it's an Intersit washing machine that I have back, um, and, you know, it, why on earth don't they make a long cord, like the previous machine, so they're cutting back on everything, they've cut back on the plumbing, they've now cut back on the, on the cord, I'm really going crazy. Joe, come on, you gotta calm down, relax, do your yoga breathing. I have become a sort of consumer vlog. Anyway, this is the lovely machine which I still cannot use. Okay, so I have the extension lead and um, this is probably the most fascinating vlog I've ever done. I'm now going to plug in my new washing machine and do a full wash. So excited. Well, it says on there, this takes three hours. It can't take three hours. I, there is something in me that is so childish I won't look at instructions. It did come with an instruction manual, but I always think I'll learn for myself. So it's now 10 o'clock. Let's see if this is still going at one. Hello. Uh, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in the middle of February in a summer dress. Well, the reason being, excuse me, Myrtle, is uh, my second purchase in the sales from Marylebone High Street is uh, something from Brora. Now, Brora, you know I love my cashmere. I buy a lot of cashmere, and I've had a lot of cashmere eaten by moths, but I think I now know how to deal with it. You just have to keep putting them in the freezer, bringing them out, shaking them. What is the matter? Why don't you just go down on the ground? No, all right then. I'm such a bad dog trainer. <laughs> right, Myrtle, you do what you like. Because you will anyway. Um, uh, so, yes, I and I've had loads of my cashmere eaten, but I found a place in uh, Scotland that repairs cashmere, by the way, and uh, they actually darn up little holes. Anyway, I digress. Um, Brora sells great cashmere, but this actually isn't cashmere that I bought, and I was waiting for this to be reduced to less than half price. It is... Have, um, I love this trend, and I think Rixo started it, of wearing sleeveless sweaters over summer dresses like this. And so I've had my eye on a sleeveless sweater, and this one I love. It's not a V-neck sleeveless, it's a round neck. And uh, have a look at this. It's like honeycomb. And you just wear it over the summer dress, which means this takes you nicely into spring from winter. You feel nice and warm, but you can wear your summer dresses without great big cardigans or jackets. So um, let me just show you. I will pop this on. And this is a, they only had it in one size, but I didn't want a small, I wanted a large, because I want it to hang down quite a lot. So, Pull it out like that. I know you're going to say, Joe, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Yeah. Uh, but you wait till you see it. I love it. And I've been wearing it over loads of my summer dresses. Literally half price. Mert, sit. We're going out for lunch. We're going to somewhere really nice in Sloan Square. Yes. We are. We're going 
we're being taken out to lunch actually in Sloan Square. She loves the lift. Um, and what we're going to do, Myrtle, because my hair is so fly away, we are going to get the bus to, I think we'll get the bus to, what's the easiest way, to Hyde Park Corner. No. Yes, to Hyde Park Corner, sorry. And then we might walk uh, through Hyde Park. These are my neighbours. Look, everybody. Everybody. Oh, Marion hasn't seen the park. Oh, my goodness, a new bubba. Got a new bubba. I know. And uh, Sandra and Jim are in love with her. Her name is Myrtle. Myrtle. She's called Mer This is my neighbour, by the way, Marion. You know Jim and you know Sandra. <laughs> And uh, yes, Myrtle, we're going to Sloan Square for lunch. Oh, you devil! I know. We're well, going on the uh, bus. <laughs> Very the bus. excited. Oh, yes. yes. So come along, Myrtle. We are on a number thirteen. Victoria. To Victoria. She's on a little rug. <laughs> She's on a little rug, so she is fine. The driver's lovely, he's waving. She's on a rug, she's not just on the seat, I promise you. Good girl, Myrtle. Good girl. Good girl. We're at Hyde Park Corner and we're going to walk to the King's Road, uh, to Sloan Square and to the King's Road because it is a really lovely day and she's in a really good walking mood. We're now in Peter Jones, killing time. I love Peter Jones. Was it Betjeman that said everything is safe in the world as long as there's Peter Jones? I've probably got that totally wrong. But it is very comforting. I love department stores. You seemed to like it when I was in anthropology last week, so now I'm in Peter Jones. I need a cabbage plate. So I have to have a kind of liquid as yes. a start. And Francine and I are not wearing mascara on our lower lashes because we both realise that look at this amazing restaurant. Look at it. Everything. And below the banquettes, you suddenly see the face of a dog coming out. There's a poodle over there or a cockapoo maybe. And this is Bella who's a chocolate lab. Is Bella a chocolate lab? She is. Yeah. She's a slim, slim do look. Do you feed yeah. her all? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely. There you go. So <laughs> that's why this dog is this wonderful shape. So Bella she's has eight. a waist. She's, she's eight. eight. Nearly she's eight. eight. Yes, yeah, she's so nearly eight now. I thought she was a puppy. No, she's not. Oh my not. gosh, she's beautiful. That's raw fooding, everybody. Raw yeah. feeding, sorry. Take note, everybody. And there's Myrtle. Taking it all in. Myrtle. Myrtle has loved her time here in Sloan Square. She's been very good, hasn't she? She's been amazing. 
Look, Myrtle. Look, Myrtle. Look, Myrtle. There. Good girl. And where's Bella? Oh, Bella's clearing up the crumbs. Oh, yeah, she's, she's doing the crumbs. Come on, Benny. Bella's been so good. And look at Bella. I love Bella's collar. Bella has a South African collar, which is beaded. There we are. She is beautiful. She is a beauty. Beautiful Bella. And you've just recognised me. I've just recognised you. And I'm just like, I'm over the moon. It's my birthday today. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. I'm on Does my way to the You're Aquarian. Gallery. I am. Oh, Aquarians are always artistic. Oh God, Oh gosh, this is when I really find it difficult to go into work because it, uh, we have had, Myrtle and I, look at me, we have had such a busy day. I'm in my um, scruffs. I came home, did some emails and I will have a bath and then I'm going to go into work. I am exhausted. I think just running around London on public transport with a puppy has exhausted me, but she has loved it. So now she's been in a cab, she's been on a bus, she's been on a tube. London is her playground. Right. I'm gonna have a bath and try and get my second wind and go into work. I'm just off to have brunch actually at the Chilton Fire House um, and I'm wearing my deploy coat, which I love, my woolen tail coat. But let me show you a long shot. I'm just, you know, I wear it over dresses, I wear it with jeans, it's an added layer. And it was half price. So just an example of some of the things, if you keep your eye, if you've got nothing better to do than just have a look at what's in the sales um, in your area. Oh, I know it's, I have a ridiculous life, but I wanted to show you. Thanks to your advice, I had people around for dinner last night and I'm not gonna be breaking any of my crockery because so many of you suggested after last week's vlog that I did this. A washing up bowl. I have invested in a washing up bowl. Thank you for all your advice. It has changed my life. Hopefully no more broken and anthropology um, China. Yes, so anyway, listen, I'm late. I've got to get Myrtle, Myrtle's had a lion. We're off to Chilton Firehouse where I'm going to have a chai latte. I won't film because every time I go there, they come over surreptitiously and say, do you mind turning off your camera? So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm heading over to Hackney. So I am now heading off to Hackney to see Anna because um, she she's really good. She sort of gives uh, Myrtle little training sessions, which uh, are very good. I mean, Myrtle is extraordinary. She is um, almost house trained, not totally. Uh, she has a couple of, she's had a couple of mishaps, but honestly, she's not even, well, she's just four months. Um, and one the one thing that I'm wearing or wary of with her is she is doing this stubborn bulldog thing of not wanting to walk once we're out she's amazing loves it plays around runs everything it's she doesn't like the thought of going out now I've had this with Matilda it's a bulldog thing and Anna said you must immediately turn it into a game so I've got the tugger with me and we're going to um, I mean, some days she's as happy as anything to go out. Other days I'm like, come on Myrtle, and I carry her and put her outside, and then she's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna crack that with Anna before it becomes a habit. But I mean, she's just so good. She's just been a joy, absolute joy. Never barks, sleeps through the night, goes into her crate when I go out. 
So this is just a tiny thing, but Anna says it's always good to keep training dogs, keep their brains sharp. So that's where we're going, over to Dalston. Actually, it's not Dalston, it is Hackney, Chatsworth Road. It's the end of the dog. You see, controlling the front of the dog is the end of the dog that has the brain in it. So it is important. So that's why a front clip harness, I think, would work really well. And Myrtle, then... Myrtle, <laughs> Prudence, don't, don't let me down. Sit, good girl, that's very good. good girl. That is good. So what Anna is saying, everybody, is she thinks it's better that Myrtle isn't on a harness. Or on a harness that has a front clip, because at the moment, you're not controlling the front of the dog. So at the moment, you're creating a sled dog effect. Right. So she is going to pull everywhere. Myrtle? And that is damaging her sit, shoulders sit. and her spine. Good girl. See. Yes, That's good. Yes. Very good. Oh, and she is good. And, Very good. You stay. And you're just building habits of her pulling you along. So basically, when she's, whatever, 20 kilos, it's going to be a different experience to now. That's yes. the thing. where I'm going to end the vlog this week and um, yes Mutti is here looking like Bette Davis because she likes wearing my French sunglasses you like those sunglasses oh, don't you? oh yes they're very nice indeed help your eyes <laughs> they do help the glare they don't help me to read no they, they, they stop the glare yeah stop the glare um, so we haven't got obviously we haven't got Matilda between us but we have Myrtle in her crate um, and we thought we can't risk her sitting on your lap can we no because she climbs about she too. does climb about but um have you noticed how much she's growing she's growing but she's got very long legs very long legs yeah she looks a bulldog. I know she looks a bit like a boxer at the moment, but um, I think she. It's but all she good. is a good. She's a very, very good dog. I think that she's a very good dog and very intelligent mm. for her age. When I turn into Mutti's uh, close where Mutti lives, she literally sits up. She knows the moment I'm near Mutti's house, and then comes bounding over, yeah. doesn't she? Yes. She gives you a lovely welcome. Oh yes, she does. Yeah, though Matilda always did. Yeah, Matilda. Anyway. Matilda absolutely loved being at Mutti's. So anyway, we're going to go and have hot chocolate now, um, which we always do, don't we, on a Friday? Yes. And um, I'm going to finish it here. Now, I have to say, we have got so many walkers this week. If you don't know what I'm on about, it is the walking woman in Carnaby Street. And if you're passing her, please film it on your phone, get someone to film it, email it to my agent. My agent, Nigel, has been sending to them to me all week, which makes me laugh, that he's looking at all your walking films. And we've got loads, so many, that Philippe says we have to use new music because we've run out of music. So I haven't seen these yet. These are all the walkers. Please give us a thumbs up. I've only just been told, if you give a thumbs up, it, it actually helps being recommended on youtube i don't know if that's right please subscribe because that helps me enormously the subscriptions and i will see you next week say say goodbye moots bye 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 bye, bye.